Hi, Sahabat Astronomy. Hi from Canada. Right now, I'm on the other side of the world. Our world is a pretty big place, and space with our satellites and communications enables us to talk to each other. It also allows us to survey the entire world, so we can see places in the Arctic that may be suffering from climate change, and we can monitor deforestation and check on the health of the planet from space. We're here on this planet, but out there is an entire universe of other planets and other stars and other nebulas and galaxies and other objects in space. And that's what astronomy is really all about. Currently, as you know, I am in a competition to get to space and I really need everyone's support. What I need is for people to vote to help me get to space. And what I'd like to do is take a student science experiment on the trip to space. And if you have good ideas for an experiment, you can send those ideas to me on Facebook. Thank you very much for preparing a set of questions for me. I'm going to take your questions and try to give you some answers. This question is from Nur Aini Mashita. Since when were you interested in astronomy? I think that I was interested in astronomy from when I was a very young child and I looked out at space. I lived in a city, but I did go camping a lot out in the countryside. And out there, you can see tons of stars over the sky. It's just amazing how many stars are really out there. And if you look up at night, it's just beautiful. What is your favorite constellation? I think if I had to think about it, my favorite constellation is probably Orion. Orion is one of the most recognizable constellations. It's the hunter, and it really does look like a hunter. Some of the constellations don't really look like what they're called, do they? And actually, it's really interesting that groups around the world have different names for constellations. It's just because we put those images in the sky. They are just stars, and we see images there because our brains look for patterns, patterns in the sky. Orion is really interesting because it's made up of a number of really interesting stars. One of the most important stars is Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a red giant star. It's one of the biggest stars that's close to Earth. And it probably will end its life in a supernova. So if, if a Betelgeuse actually exploded, it could potentially cause a lot of damage even here on Earth, even though it's about 50 light years away. Another really interesting thing about Orion is if you look closely at it, many of the stars are not really stars. And if you look at it in a telescope, you see many other little objects. And the further you look, the more objects you see. And that's because Orion contains a large number of nebula. One of the most interesting parts of Orion is the nebula that's one of the most intense regions of star formation in our galaxy. This question is from Aslina Asmania. What's the first thing that you learned about astronomy that got you really interested in the field? I think that the first thing that anyone could learn about astronomy that gets them really interested is realizing that Earth is just this tiny world in an entire universe of other worlds. There's billions of other planets out there and it's really interesting to think, well, maybe there's other life out there. Maybe there are other even intelligent beings out there. Are we alone in the universe? These are the big questions that we don't really know the answers to, but I think that's why we do astronomy and why we go to space, to try to find them out. This question is from Zerwina Alia Nashira Sharkawi. How do we motivate younger people to be interested in space and astronomy? Well, I think that we need to connect with younger people in ways that they're interested. I think that social media engagement is really important. Younger people today use a lot more things like Facebook and Twitter and social media. So it's really important to spread the word of science and spread the word of astronomy and get people motivated and interested in learning on those platforms. I think maybe getting people engaged through games and indirect ways of learning is really important. People actually learn a lot through things like games, educational games, and challenges, and design competitions, and actually just showing people the stars, bringing them to observatories so they can see for themselves. This question is from Shur Anatsia Iskandar. Do you have any words of advice? The best advice I can give you is probably stay interested, stay curious, keep learning, keep asking questions. It's really important to ask questions in life. That's what science is all about. It's about asking questions and looking for answers. We don't know all the answers and we probably never will. 
And it's okay not to know all the answers. That's why we learn. That's why we explore. This question is from Theo Thami Ibrahim. What type of experiment would you like to do? Well, actually, I'd like students to submit ideas for an experiment to perform. Uh, young people have really good ideas, and I think this is a really great opportunity for a young person to actually see one of their experiments performed in space and actually interact in the process. I've already gotten a number of really good suggestions. I think one of the most fun suggestions is slinkies. I'd really like to see slinkies in space. These stretchy springs, they go down stairs and they move around a lot, but in space there's no gravity, so they'd actually travel in a straight line. I think that would be a lot of fun. This question is from Perminta Tingi Orion. What's inspiring you the most? Have you always been interested in astronomy? Yes, I mean, I've always been interested in astronomy since I was a little child. Young people are really motivated to explore the world because everything is new to them. The world is really a fascinating place, but many adults don't necessarily see it. But it's really important to keep looking up and keep looking at the stars and seeing what is out there. There's a whole universe out there. The thing that inspires me the most is thinking about actually traveling among the stars and getting humans one day to travel to other stars and go and visit and find other planets and maybe some planets that are like Earth. And I think in order to do that, we need to start with the places that we know of that we can get to. We need to go to places like Mars and the Moon and asteroids as well because they're close enough for us to get to today and it would really help us develop those technologies that we need to one day get to other stars out there. And who knows, maybe one day even meet some other life forms out there in space who are also looking for answers. Well, thank you very much for all your support from Malaysia. It really helps. Please ask your friends and family to help me in my adventure, my quest to get to space. You can go and vote for me on Facebook to help go to space. And you can also connect with me on Facebook and start thinking about those great experiment ideas. And remember, always be curious, always ask questions, and keep staring up at the stars.